we are told yeah. they are in charge of Kismayu. 30 kilometers outside, outside Kismayu, Al Shabaab is in charge. So the discussion that Kenyans should have today, the discourse should be how are they performing in that. Secondly, the most porous part of our border, where we are now getting a lot of threats from the Al Shabaab, is the Mandera sector, which is under the Ethiopian command within the Amisom. And we have told the president a number of times, we have told government, it's part of, our, uh, part of our recommendation that from Kyunga in Lamu to BP1 in, 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 in Mandera, that sector should be given to the Kenya Defense Forces. Would well, that help? But, but, no, no. But that, that will but help. There is also another school of thought. You know, when this operation to invade Somalia was being rationalized, the head of Kenyan intelligence at that time, General Gishangi, recruited 2,000 Kenyan Somalis. He took them to Manyani mm -hmm. to train them. And he said that this will be the guys who will be providing security to the Somali government. Up to now, nobody knows where those 2000s are. There's one school of thought that says that actually some of the people who are coming back to Kenya to carry out this, uh, mm -hmm. this, uh, these attacks are the 2000 Gishangi trained in. So, you know, I mean, there, there's need to do a big audit Absolutely. on the role of, you know, Gishangi, on the role of Karangi, mm -hmm. all these guys. Because there are many steps they have taken that was thought to be rational at that time that has now boomerang on this country. Mm. Where, when you train 2,000 soldiers and then you don't have an audit of where they are, I mean, you can't, I mean, you need to be caught martial. Yes, yes, okay. I, no, no, I want to confirm. Mm. In all the hearings we are doing from Garissa, Wajia, Mandera, that was a common narrative. The, the community are asking, the real leaders, where is the whereabouts of those 2,000? So are, the, are they in Somalia? Are they in Kenya? Are they with so the So they're coming back to bite us where it hurts? The possibility is there.